welcome to Polk County's Historical Pioneer Day. Nora Venrick, and this is your oldest son, James Venrick. Uh, Nora, I understand you're from Winter Haven. Yeah, like and, near Winter Haven all my life. <laughs> oh, goodness. And that you grew up in the Winterset, Winterset area? Yeah. Uh, of Winter Haven. Uh, Out by the lakes where we live. Oh, yeah, and I hear that you're 87 years old. I assume we'll be the 24th. So, <laughs> That's close. Isn't that fine? Yeah. James, are you from Winter Haven, too? Yes, I am. I, I've lived here most of my life, except a few years I was in the service and working out on the road a few years. But other than that, I've been right here in this area, in the Citrus Belt. Oh, good. In cattle. That was our interest over the years. Oh, great. Can can you, Mrs. Venry, can you can you remember uh, anything about, I bet you can, a lot about World War II those days? Not a whole lot. I didn't. I was too busy with my children. I didn't. Seem like the first World War, I would I remember I'm going to be in that, but the second one, I don't remember much about it. Yeah. You know, well, the first World War was just a little too too long ago. Wasn't oh, it? yeah, that was. I don't remember much about it either. <laughs> that was getting me. But you have 10 children, I understand. Yes. Isn't that great? And James is number two. Yes. Fine. Tell me, what do you remember? You, were you born actually in the Winter Haven area? Yes, I was, uh, that is where they were living, by Winterset Lake, when I yeah. was born. When you were born. Of course, that's been torn down many oh, years fine. ago. Were your brothers and sisters born there, too? No, never had any more brothers and sisters. Didn't have any. Oh, you were it? That was all it was. Oh, that's fine. Have you lived in the Winter Haven area most of your life? Well, you'd say most of it, wouldn't you? Exception of... Uh, well... A few years we lived in Manatee County, down around Palmetto. Mm -hmm. Yeah, out east of Palmetto. Yeah, really. we was there, uh, I guess, from the uh, early 40s to in the 60s, I guess you lived there, didn't you? The 57. It was a good long stay there. 57, I guess they moved away from there. So you were down there during the World War II days? In the, yes, that's correct. I remember when the Second World War started there in Pearl the Harbor when we were there. I was about 10 years old at the time. Mm -hmm. That's what I remember. Yes, that is a little different country down there, and uh, I always enjoyed getting back up here on the high sandy ground. It was so wet, a lot of mosquitoes and mm -hmm. sand fleas down there, and I never did really like it as well as I do this area. I never did even know. I well remember some of the sand flies and the and the mosquitoes. Of course, we had them in Polk County too, but I think down in the in the West Coast, they we were more plagued with them. Yes, certainly in the Gulf area. You certainly are. Uh, it just takes an adjustment that I never did really make. I mean, people down there seem to take it all in stride and would go prepared, I guess, with their, uh, their off or whatever in a towel and knock the mosquitoes away from them. And I just never did get used yeah. to that. Absolutely. Um, Nora, can I call you Nora? That's all right. A granny. Yeah. Some people call me even granny. granny. That's the old name. And well, they'd have to call me. Granny too, I suppose, because because <laughs> I'm a grandfather, yeah. and then some. Uh, tell me what you remember about your childhood, or things that you did when you were very young. Well, I didn't do a whole lot of anything. We played uh, the paper dolls. That's what little girls used to do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you remember that? That was a put out pictures out of catalogs. Play with uh, paper towels, <laughs> with a paper. Yeah, pa know. paper dolls and things yeah, like that. Yeah, I bet you've seen little girls do that. Oh, yes. What did you have in the way of games that you played? Do you remember? Oh, we played uh, hide and go seek, and uh, we used to play ball, too, you know, in that little country school out there at Eloise, you know. Yeah. yeah ball yeah. game. So, so you remember those very clearly, ball? Yeah, I sure do. Oh, fine. Tell me about uh, school days. Did you uh, go to school in the in, in Winter Haven schools? Oh, yes, I finished in Winter Haven school, but I dropped out one year. I'd been going there to Eloise. And Ms. Atkins was the one that taught me in the ninth grade, and then I went back. See, I was going to go in nursing, and then they recommended me to go back and finish high school, so that's what I did. I was going to be a nurse, but they said uh, <laughs> then I'd have to know more about finishing. 
So I went back, and then I was, when I graduated in about 20, 1927, I believe it was 28 that year, so I graduated from high school. In, in, the, in the 1927, 28 mm -hmm. time frame. Well, you beat me out of high school. Uh -huh. But that's a... Uh, well, you were not near as old as me. <laughs> yeah, not quite, not quite. Um, it looks like to me you've had some good health and um, been blessed in a lot of ways. Ten children? Yes, this boy here has helped me a lot. He's carried me places over the country, North Carolina. And then one of my girls carried me up on the St. James River. But we had a long trip to out in West, you know. Oh, I've never you? been out there. Yeah. He carried or he was the one that drove the mobile home, you know. Yes. Do you remember much about transportation when you were young? What? Uh, yes, I do. We had an old horse and wagon. That's what we rode in. Did you really? In the uh, early days. We never did have one of them nice stories, you know. I'd always tell them about it. But I wanted him to get one like that, yeah. and he never did. Well, you lived in the Winterset area. Did you keep the horse right there at your at your place, at your parents' place? Oh, yes, there was a pasture farm. They stayed in. There was land there that wasn't cleared up. It's all cleared up now, but it was. There was a pasture farm land, and they was fed, you know, in the barn. Uh, how did, how did uh, you arrange for your food in those days? I'm sure we didn't have supermarkets. Uh, did well, you? my dad went to, uh, and drove to a and horse and wagon to Winter Haven. There was a general store. Yeah. Right where the barn had bank is, sold everything yeah. there, and he would go there to get groceries I way see. back. But he'd be there before day of waiting for the store to open. <laughs> it was just a horse and wagon, it took him a long time to go. Yeah. He'd start before day, I remember. So he'd get there by the time they opened, you know. Did you all uh, provide any of your own food, any of your own groceries? Did you raise any of it? No, my father didn't want to. He did one year had tomatoes that didn't freeze. But he didn't ever want to because he got in the cattle and he had mm -hmm. to grow to look after. Mm -hmm. So he was in citrus and cattle? Yeah, citrus and uh, cattle. Mostly. Um, and you all then didn't, didn't keep a garden, didn't have to keep a garden? No. That didn't. kind of thing. But I'd like to. I always did like a garden, but yeah. I couldn't do it because I wasn't able did, did you have chickens by any chance? Oh, yes. I've always had chickens. Yeah. And I've still got them in my son. Yes, it's taking care of them. Marvel. Because I was real ill the first of this year. Real. I just like to not live. But he came and has been taking care of the garden and doing a good job. I can remember as a as a child myself in Barto that most everybody had a chicken yard, had mm -hmm. chicken pens, and it was just a very common thing. Yeah. And I suppose some of us still do. Yeah, they do. My son went to Yugoslavia and he said why, Mama, they have chickens here. I said, in a city? Yeah. He said, yeah, they're just big pens. Really? They had chickens right in the city really? he was in. He was, uh, was that recently, oh, in recent yes. years? Yeah, the last few years, just a few years ago. But, now, I think I understood you to say earlier that all of your children are living yeah, all town. All in. Do they live in the Winter Haven area, or where all are they? This son lives close by about a mile, and another son lives about a mile. Mm -hmm. But the daughter that comes now, she lives in Sarasota. Mm -hmm. Then I've got a daughter and a son that lives in North Carolina. Well, isn't that nice? Yes, and one of my daughters lives with me. And uh, Don't forget Reed in Japan. Yeah, Reed's in Japan. That's the youngest son. Youngest son. He lives in Japan. Yeah, he's be 42 years old. Like. He's the father's... Yeah, he came in August. He spent three weeks in August, and then he went back. See, he's working on a Ph.D. degree. Yeah. And really. he's already got a master's, and he wants to get a Ph.D. And he was at, spent his time in the library over at Southern, you know, like college over there, mostly when he was here. Uh, did, when you traveled... Uh, when you were younger, did you use the train or when you went away from the Winterham area? Or did you? Well, we had to catch the train at Lake Alfred once my grandmother and I went. Mm -hmm. But then I was 17 then. But in the early days, 
it might have been the same way. I don't know. I think that it stopped here in Winter Haven, though, then, way back like that. And then when the train went through first, up uh, from New York to Miami, it was at, at Westlake, Wales. Yeah. Now that's all done away with. They don't stop there. They stop in Winter Haven now. What, what can you remember about the area that you grew up in? And has, you, you said a little about it, about it, about it changing. Uh, was it fairly, was it rural, quite rural when you were? Well, there was groves you know, about, yes. There was a big grove on one side of us and a grove on the other side. But that was about all there was with the grove. You know. how, how about your, were you a church person? Were you a church family? We went to a first for a long time to the Presbyterian Church in Bartow. In Bartow? Yeah. Uh, from Winter Haven to Bartow? Yeah. Well, the, Pre uh, the Presbyterian Church is still here in Bartow. I'm, yes, I'm happy is. to report. Good. How many grandchildren have you? I bet well, you have uh, quite a few. No, not so many. There's not the 13. 13, I believe. 13. We were counting them up here a while back. I, I thought there was more than that, but really, most of us have only had one. Yeah, it was me. just two that had three. One of my daughters had, well, my son, you know, like Wallace, he had three. My second boy had three children, but then the rest of them. My son here has one son. Do you remember anything about the um, people in public life, the... Um, uh, mayors or governors or sheriffs? <laughs> no, I never kept up with it. Well, that's, maybe that's good. You didn't have a lot to do with the yeah, sheriff. Yeah, I right? didn't know. I didn't. That's fine. Um, and you all have been mostly in uh, Grove and, and Cattle yeah. interests. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. That's what where, if I may ask, where did your people come from before so, you arrived? Well, my father from South Carolina and my mother was raised Near what's Fort Meade now. Really? Really? She was raised there? Yeah, but he came from South Carolina before the big freeze. Mm -hmm. He came here to Bartow first, and then he moved up there where we live now. Well, your mother, uh, was she born in the Fort Meade area? Yes. So she was She was more of a pioneer than any of us, wasn't yeah, she? Yes, she was. Johnny, that was... She died in uh, 1957, December 13th. Her husband, my father, died in April, March of 13, uh, 1957. 57. Both of them died in the same year, nine months apart. Oh, that's what an interesting background you have. And uh, you say your father came from South Carolina. Yeah. What do you remember? What part of South Carolina he lived in? Or uh, he was close to a little settlement of Willington. It's Washington now, pretty good little. Yeah. Washington? Yeah, Washington? Is that what it's called? South Carolina? And where this place is. It's just a small town, though, but Willington was, used to be, but I, I, maybe there's still a mm -hmm. post office and, a, you know, maybe a few lived around there. It used to be a bank, but I don't think it is anymore. Do you remember what your mother's people did down in the Fort Meade area? What, what their uh, uh, vocations okay. were? Cattle. 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 They were in cattle. And yes, her father was, that's what he'd always been, Stephen Wright Clark. It was his name. He Stephen, had cattle. That's Stephen what. Wright Clark. Yeah. And then they farmed some when the boys was young. <clears throat> they had sweet potatoes and sugar cane. They made syrup out of sugar cane. And then they raised some hogs they sold to, and cattle they sold some. But uh, mostly what they made their living out of was cattle. Her, her father came here with no really knowledge of cattle or citrus, I don't think. And he no. just kind of got into that. When he came down from uh, South yes. Carolina. It was just an adventure for him, I guess. He came here to grow with tomatoes, I think his first crop was. And he just worked day labor, whatever he could do. And then gradually worked into citrus, I think. And through share, share cropping, he, he kind of went halves with somebody or something to that effect, didn't he? Well, I don't know about that. He worked with uh, Curtis a while. 
He was just a young boy when he came out of Arto, was 17 years old. But he looked after the family good. And then he lived up on the, uh, well, it was a man who lived across the lake there, Blunts, they called him, I believe. The then he would walk back to Arto and then with it weekend. Wasn't that a long walk? Oh, from Winter Haven? From where we are, it's all Lake about Lake. Lake. Yeah, it would be how far would that be? Oh, you know, that'd be eight, ten miles. Maybe. Oh yeah, twelve, I imagine. Yeah, more yeah. twelve, I think. But that was not uncommon, I suppose, in no, those days. No, it didn't because unless you had a good horse to ride, you know, the wagon. You'd have to have a dedicated horse one you <laughs> yeah. take with you and get it fed and take yeah. back with you. Yeah, absolutely. That's certainly an interesting um, background that you came from. Uh, this is uh, Nora McLean Fenry and her son James. She's from Winter Haven and grew up in the Lake Winterset area and has told us something about her own parents. Thanks for coming and joining us at uh, Pioneer Day. Thank you. In Polk County. <laughs> well, good, good to get I've you been here. Coming for several years. Oh, that's good. And you'll be coming back, I trust, and having lunch with us not only today but each year. <laughs> well, I know. Good. I'd like to, but I know I'm getting pretty old. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing you again. <laughs> well, that's nice. We want to. Now, what is your name? I'm Roy Gallimore. Gallimore. I'm. Didn't you? Your folks around the pay for Gallimore. That name sounds. Yes, familiar. my father and. Before him, his father oh. uh, ran the uh, Polk County record here in Bartow. Well, Years I ago. I recognize that name. And this is our uh, videographer here, whom you see, who is Jerry. Jerry Mayforth. It's been nice to have you, and we have a photographer over here, I think, who'd like to get your picture. Could they be taken here or something? Good. <laughs> your, your still picture, is that right, sir? Good. Thanks for being with us. Thanks, you. You're welcome. Thank you. We'll see you again soon. <laughs>